přestupní stanice. We arrived in Prague from Munich yesterday evening and today is our first day in this beautiful city but we decided we want to do something different, something we've never tried before. So we're gonna try a walking tour here in Prague and see what it's like. didn't last very long. We're in the main square now but we can't find the walking tour we were looking for so I guess we'll have to just do our own walking tour today but first we need to find some food. What have you found for us? Oh, not yet. I don't think they take card. I know. Yeah. I don't see a, a machine. card machine. But we're looking at some sausage or flash. old Prague ham. <laughs> hey. I'm just gonna flash the card at him and see if he says no. <laughs> Damn. No card. So we've actually seen quite a lot of things online showing how you can get ripped off if you try and draw money out of certain ATMs around the city. So we're trying to find a bank or an exchange office to get some check round so that we can buy some food. <laughs> this exchange office has got five stars. That's five fair. star review. <laughs> I just read up about this and I still don't understand what it means. It's an astronomical clock and it is the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and it's the oldest one that is still functional. It was built in 1410, I think it was. It's got a sun and a moon and figurines, figurines on the side. I, don't, I still don't understand what it means really. It but looks it looks cool. really cool. <laughs> If only we could understand what this guy was saying. How far? Four hundred meters. This one's got 0% commission though. The other one's got 1% commission. <laughs> Shall we try this one? I've never used one of these before. Yes, we have. When An we exchange. came in from Georgia to... Yeah, but that one Georgia. we added cash. We just gave in cash and got another currency. Does it work the same? I don't know or? if they'll let us. I actually don't know how it works. I don't know, maybe we will need to have cash to give them. So we're gonna... I don't know. Let's go ask. How do we do this? How do we do it? <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. We've got our money. We can finally go and eat something. <laughs> we found something pretty good. Have a look at this thing. Whatever this is. That looks so yum! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Pretty nice. It's like a dark coffee yeah. This may just look like a big loaf of bread, but hiding inside uh, is a potato soup with mushrooms. Look how good that looks. <laughs> Crunchy. Mm. It's a really good meal for a cold day. Mm. It's all gone. <clears throat> 
as we were finishing off our food, for some reason we checked the amount of money that we exchanged and we actually realized that even knowing all of that stuff, even being cautious, we were ripped off. We basically lost one night of accommodation in exchange fees. We, with, we, we, we changed, well we withdrew 600 crowns, and we but lost it cost us 400 crowns. Effectively, it cost us 400 to withdraw that. And I don't really understand how because it said zero. What did it say? Zero percent commission. Percent commission, which is clearly a, a lie. And we definitely should have gone for the other one that we found first. But, no, but I, don't know. I don't trust anything. Yeah, I don't actually know. We definitely won't be drawing any money moving forward, that's for sure. both still really disappointed about getting scammed and it stings that much more because I literally knew we went in with our eyes open and it still happened anyway <laughs> we've managed to find another free walking tour and we're gonna give it a try and see what we think Václav this is a very typical Czech name which is why it sounds like this Václav you can also call me V like in the movie V for Vendetta if that makes it any easier for you Architecturally, you should feel impressed right now. Do you feel impressed? Yes. Okay. Wow. Take a look over. Take a look over there. You see that beautiful pinkish long palace? This is 1700s. It's a decorative style Rococo that you see there. Next to it, you have this building in a blue scaffolding, Gothic, from 1200s. Then you have this building with a rooftop like like a cloud. That's Renaissance, 1500s. Then you have Baroque Classicism right next to it, 1700s. Behind that, a church from 14th century. All of that in one picture frame. That is why, again, people come to Prague because of beautiful architecture. And what about the colors, the blue, the red, and the black? That like fills out the upper dial of the clock. Any idea what that is, guys? It is the color of the sky. So the blue is the day, red is the sunset and the sunrise, and black is the night. And if you look below the golden hand, you're gonna see there a golden sun. You see it? So the golden sun is now in blue because it's day. When it goes to red, it's sunset. Black is the night, red is the sunrise, and blue is the day. And the sun, it can go up and down on the hand. When it's summer, it's all the way on the outside because day is long. When it's winter, it's all the way on the inside because day is short. You see? The reason why we call it astronomical clock is because in the center is a golden planet Earth. And where the clock is positioned, that's Prague. And compared to where you are standing right now, we know where in the sky is the sun, the moon, and those many weird like golden symbols that you see there, those are the zodiacs, the star signs. So right now, you see the sun is in Libra, and it's showing you that we are now in Libra, and it's showing you the moon is in Scorpio, which is very important for astrologers. So this is where the name, the astronomical clock uh, comes from. There is a list online, I don't know who created it, some bloggers who basically created a list of the most disappointing attractions in Europe. Number one was Mona Lisa, number two was astronomical clock. The reason why a lot of people think this is disappointing is the show, the show that you guys are going to see. Let's say not much happens there and when people don't have like any explanation beforehand, they don't get so super um, excited, I guess is the word, or they're just not so impressed. Uh, because what they don't know is that right behind that small metal door you guys see here at the bottom is a mechanism. The, the metal gears that make the clock spin and work still 75% original from the year 1410. Which means you are guys looking at the oldest astronomical clock in the world which still works.
tour and all I can say is I'll definitely do another one again in the future. That was so cool. So just in case you guys are wondering, we just went with 100 Spire City Tours and we really enjoyed that. Our tour guide mud stuff was just... <laughs> our tour guide mud stuff was amazing. We can just 5 out of 5 recommend that you definitely look into them in the future. We'll put their link or their details in the description below. The day didn't start out that great, but it ended on a very good night. All I can say is if you're ever coming to Prague, be aware of the scammers. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you know, as always, if you enjoyed this video, smash this button over here. Don't smash forget this button to too. hit this button over here. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Oh, right. and tomorrow Ooh. we hit the streets of Prague again, and now we'll be doing more beer and food. Mm. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Or next time. <laughs> In the next video. <laughs>